So kung titignan po natin yung unang tatlo, they look like this. This is how the artist shows them. Above him were seraphims, each had six wings to cover the face, to cover the feet, and to cover and two to fly with. So ang dami lang pakpak. Again, you don't take it literally, but somehow it looks like this. Because wings also has symbols. Bakit sinabing to cover the feet? Kasi po, it's a euphemism uh, to cover the private parts. O parang ganun ang tingin ng isang Old Testament writer. Cherubims. Yan pa rin. Medyo mahaba basahin. And you can find the cherubims on the Ark of the Covenant. So, nung unang panahon pa in the Old Testament, it seems that people during the Old Testament already saw angels. And that's why they have figures on their holy objects. The thrones and other angels looks like this. But take note again po, it is not to be taken literally because it's just an image of how they may look like. They are symbolical images at the same time. Ang dapat natin tinan is, unang-una, what God revealed in the Bible. So we have three archangels as God revealed in the Bible. I hope kilala ninyo yan. Kung sinong angel ang may hawak na isda. That's in the book of Tobit, chapter 6, and that's Archangel Raphael. And this is our guardian angel, how they guide us. And then, with a flower, that's Archangel Gabriel. Sa Annunciation. And of course, isa sa mga sikat na Archangel na alam na alam natin ang kanyang picture is Saint Michael the Archangel. And here is a fresco of the Blessed Virgin Mary with the seven Archangels. So in the church tradition, we actually have seven Archangels.